Uh, hello YouTube, me again. Um, I'm gonna start off this video comparing um, how much the U.S. spends on military versus how much we spend on NASA. All right. So according to world's top 15 military spenders in 2013. This is on Wikipedia, so I'm just kind of taking the information for granted. Uh, the U.S. is on top with $640 billion. Uh, and then on NASA, okay, I guess in 2011, it was on Google, uh, we were spending $18.4 billion on NASA. Or, yeah, $640 billion on the military, 18 billion on NASA, on space exploration, on science, you know, that type of shit. Um, uh, but what really gets me about this, about this list is, um, of the top 15 military spenders is, uh, some of these countries are our allies are members of NATO. Um, <laughs> so, and a lot of people would say that oh, we shouldn't cut military spending because because uh, we need to protect ourselves because uh, you know we'd be vulnerable, weak, yada yada yada. You know, which is uh, I guess there's some legitimacy there, but these people probably for the most part, might not understand the purpose of NATO, which is essentially to prevent wars, to make sure stuff like World War II doesn't happen again. Right, that'd be horrible. Um, <sighs> I, I, I mean, for the most part, I guess, in comparison to years and years ago, we're probably better about getting along and attempting to do things more diplomatically now. Um, but we could get a lot better about it. In fact, it seems like really the only places we're really sending, or at least the United States is, is still in conflict with, is like the Middle East. Um, that's only because, like, in comparison to the U.S., places in the Middle East are still in, like, the fucking Middle Ages. Um, you know, they're still, you know, you have entire, uh, governments letting religion dictate the laws and whatnot and so that's that's cool um <laughs> like, the, the, like we're spending more on military than our allies our greatest allies you know and i think with the stuff in isis and going on in the middle east i don't think the united states is the only nation prepared or uh, responsible for dealing with it. You know, I think other countries could also uh, go over there and take care of the problem, like the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy. You know, I'm sure all those countries, you know, maybe not separately, but definitely combined, have a military power capable of handling the issues over in the Middle East with ISIS, you know. Um, not that I'm encouraging war or anything, but the point is, you know, we don't have to deal with it. We have allies who can definitely handle the problem. I think a lot of people don't really realize that, or at least people in Amer America don't really realize that. I think we kind of underestimate some of our allies, or maybe we don't realize we have allies. I don't know. Um, but I think it would just, I, and I guess my point is, I just, wouldn't it make better sense to, uh, put money, at least more money, into uh, science than, than the military, especially since I don't really see a, a great purpose in spending so much on the military. You know, I mean, I get the idea that we do have to have a military to protect ourselves, uh, and, you know, just whatever. Since obviously we don't live in a perfect world, we're not in a utopia, and obviously we still have... Um, conflict amongst each other again and stuff in the Middle East and ISIS and stuff. So, you know, we live in a perfect world, but, you know, we're getting there. It's getting better, you know. And a lot of
of people may not appreciate the way Obama is handling handling um, handling like Vladimir Putin and uh, things going on in the Ukraine or whatever. But what's the alternative? You know, he's trying to handle it as diplomatically as possible. You know, what's really the alternative here? War? Do you really want war? You know, this isn't going to be. It wouldn't be a little conflict like we got going on in the Middle East. I mean. The United States and Russia are two big, major powerhouses, you know? I mean, yeah, we got atomic bombs, but they got atomic bombs, too. You know, they have a pretty strong military as well. Granted, I don't think they're as uh, economically prepared, but whatever. <sighs> um, um, I guess I'm getting off track here, just... I mean, wouldn't it just make better sense to, you know, put more money in trying to advance ourselves rather than just in more barbaric things? <laughs> like, defending ourselves from threats that don't really exist, at least in the way we think they do. You know, like, you know, people will talk about, you know, oh, we gotta protect ourselves from terrorists, yada, yada, yada. You know, but if you look at 9-11, I mean... What was, what could have been done? What could have been done that would have actually prevented 9/11? I mean, what really? You know, not a thing, not a thing. You know, if a guy wants to buy a ticket to a plane, hijack the plane, crash to a building right now, you can do that. You can do that. There is nothing, nothing has changed that will stop that. Okay, okay, America. Okay, if a guy wants to hijack a plane, crash into a building, that can still happen. Okay, that has not changed. Okay, <sighs> so your argument of you know we need to spend a lot of money on on military to protect ourselves from that terrorist is ridiculous. Okay, it's retarded. Okay. Also, a lot of these, um, I, don't, I don't really know a lot about ISIS and, you know, military-wise terms of what they have, but I, I, but if they don't even have an Air Force, if they don't even have an Air Force, how could they really hurt us, okay? I remember back when ISIS had threats of, like, you know, taking over all the Middle East and then invading in Europe and then going after the U.S. I mean, that's kind of a, that's kind of a fantasy, really. That's not, you really think that would happen? Really? A bunch of fucking cr whacked out, crazy, Koran thumpers in the middle of the desert? Seriously? Trying to overpower some of the top military spenders in the world? Because you, know, you realize if they tried invading Europe, they would have to fuck with Germany, France, Italy, United Kingdom, all countries that were on, that are on, uh, top 15 uh, military spenders in 2013. Okay? So I don't think they would uh, do very well. And you might say, oh, well, they got a lot of money from oil. Well, yeah. But are they, do, are they spending billions and billions every year on military? No. They're getting a few million every day on oil. So, I don't know. I guess my point is, is could, we, could we just agree as a nation to spend less on the military? Just a little less and a little more on science and education and just things that would actually... No better us as a country. Um, so that's it. Bye.